Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss some of the interview questions that are asked in statistics. Now, if you are going for an uh, interview with respect to data science or machine learning or deep learning, if there is a guy who loves statistics, then he may probably ask you many questions related to statistics and that has happened to me a lot of time. So all these particular interview questions, again, I'll be giving this whole list in the description of this particular video. I'm going to read down some of the interview questions and everything is covered in my statistics playlist. Okay. And uh, why I have specifically focused because many people ask this questions. Okay. Many people, many recruiters ask this particular question itself. So as you all know, statistics is very, very vast. So it is always good to actually study that is completely related to machine learning or deep learning stuff. Okay. So some of the questions that they have basically asked is that, uh, like, what is the basic difference between probability mass function and probability density function? How can you relate histogram with probability density function? This was the second question that was asked and I've listed it down. The other thing was that, um, can you please explain me the difference between covariance and correlation? Which one is better? What are the different types of correlations? And again, guys, this particular video also I have uploaded in my statistics playlist. You'll be seeing, guys, I've not uploaded every, everything in statistics. The most important questions that are usually asked. Okay, so please read that study that it will be very beneficial for that, you. Okay, and again, statistics playlist will also be given in this uh, description of this particular video. The next question, um, the next question was basically focused more on distribution. Different types of distribution like normal distribution, standard distribution, standard normal distribution, Bernoulli distribution, log normal distribution. Okay, and uh, there was also some questions asked on central limit theorem. Okay, how does it actually work? And if I if I just talk about central limit theorem, I've already uploaded videos regarding that also, guys. It is pretty much easy. If you understand the concepts, you will probably be able to tell everything over there. The next thing was asked related to power law distribution okay now when whenever we talk about um, whenever we talk about normal distribution right at that time you'll be able to see some bell curve okay so in case of power law distribution or log normal distribution that bell curve will not be exactly same okay if i if i if i just talk about log normal distribution it will be the left hand side of that particular curve will be bulged okay in case of power law distribution it will be completely in a different shape okay so these are things what exactly those distribution actually specify that we need to explain it very much properly the other thing that you should also focus on is basically the gaussian distribution as i told you normal distribution and gaussian distribution okay now what about those data which are actually having non-gaussian distribution okay so all those things needs to you need to have a proper understanding about that you need to give some examples of some of the non gaussian distribution please do let me know some of the non gaussian distribution now what i what what do i mean by that is that suppose if i take an example of height weight usually doctors the domain expertise basically say that this particular distribution is in the form of gaussian distribution or normal distribution so give me some examples and write down that particular in the comment box like which all are the use cases which will have non gaussian distribution okay and uh, for that again i'm telling you for for that we basically say it as a, uh, a power law distribution of box cost uh, transform okay so these all things are there and uh, please make sure that you know very good uh, you have a very good knowledge on correlation coefficients, right? All the different types of correlation coefficients like uh, Spearman, um, because it is pretty much important. Uh, it will also help you in the feature selection part also, which is one of the life cycle of a data science project. Um, apart from that, the most important thing is about hypothesis testing. Okay. Why I'm saying you this particular question is guys, because many of them have confusion with respect to hypothesis testing, P values, what is the null hypothesis, alternate hypothesis, how do you calculate the P value? There are many, many things. And since there is no precise, clear explanation, okay, so many people get confused. But anyhow, I have made that particular explanation in my playlist, you can go and actually watch it out. I've also shown you how you can actually perform with the help of Python code. So I've, I've considered those I have actually written there. Okay. And how do you actually do a hypothesis testing? Everything is got explained over there. There is one very, very good YouTube channel called as stat lectures. Okay. Again, the link will be given in a description stat lectures over there. 
uh, in that particular YouTube channel, you have 80 videos regarding statistics and I have followed that particular video to understand the particular concepts. Okay, so make sure that you watch that particular video also and it will definitely be, be beneficial to you. Okay, now if I just go back, uh, there are some more questions that I wanted to actually discuss. One was about what is Fourier transform. Okay, and if you want to know the exact explanation about Fourier transform, just go and watch uh, blue and brown channel excellent explanation about Fourier transform has been given and I know this particular channel is pretty much famous in the data science community the maths is awesome what he is whatever he has actually explained you can just actually watch that particular video okay now some of the things some of the confusing questions that uh, were asked was something like how does the p-value signify about the statistical data Okay. So these all kind of questions were asked. Uh, what is the difference between skewed data? If you have a skewed data, how do you how do you make it a normal data? Something like that. See, skewed data is where your left hand side is bulge or your right hand side is bulge. How do you make it as a Gaussian distribution data? And for that, you basically apply something called as log normal distribution. How does a log normal distribution? Um, you basically have to explain by the formula. You have to explain by the statement considering x is a random variable. And if I try to find out y is equal to log of x, um, we can actually say that this will actually follow a Gaussian distribution, something like that. So those kind of statements needs to be said and you have to learn in that specific way. Um, and whenever you are reading this particular topics, make sure that, uh, you know, uh, you follow Wikipedia precisely because the definition over there formulas is given in a much better way. You'll be able to understand with a lot of examples. The most important question that I faced, uh, which really made me confused was that why are distribution getting used? Why, why do distribution gets used? What is the significance of distribution of data? When I say Gaussian distribution or not non Gaussian distribution. Okay. What is the main significance of this kind of data? Please do write this particular answer in the comment box of this particular video. And uh, yes, uh, this was all about this particular video. I hope you like it. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all. Bye bye.